Hi, in this video I will show you how to pick up coins with different values and create a simple counter for it. As usual, I start from an empty project and set it up step by step real quick. First of all, I add some coins to the scene. Each coin has its own value from 1 to 5. Here we go. All of the coins have to have a collider to detect collisions with player. So I select all of them and add a circle collider to D. Set it as a trigger. Coins will have a script, which will help me to define its value. Here is this script. Here I have coin value variable, which will hold the name of a coin. Also here is coin value variable, which will hold coins value. In start method, coin name is defined using substring method. So I take coins game object name and trim it down to 5 symbols from first one to fifth one. So in the end I get coin name which consists of word coin and its number. All of other symbols like brackets or clone word, which is added to each instantiated object if you do so, are removed. So when appropriate name is obtained, I process it using switch statement. So if coin's name equals to coin1, then coin value is set to 1. If it's coin3, then coin value is set to 3. And if it's coin5, then coin value is set to 5. Coin value variable is public, so other scripts have access to it. That's the script. I select all of the coins and add this coin script to them using add component feature. Now coins have this script attached. Now let's create a simple UI coin counter. I create new UI text and rename it as coin counter. Double click to focus on it. Here is this text object and here is canvas automatically created. I anchor this text at top center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Give it a small indent from the top. Text field will be modifying with the script, but to keep this scene clear, I type in some placeholder text. OK. By the way, once canvas is created, I usually set its scale mode to scale with screen size, so UI elements will be scaled depending on game view size. The bigger the screen, the bigger UI elements. And vice versa. I make font size bigger. Text disappears because it doesn't fit its container. To fix that, I just make this rect bigger and put it back to center. Set color to white and put text at the middle of the rect. OK. Counter is done. Last game object is player. Focus back to our scene. Here is our player. Player needs a collider as well to detect collisions with those coins. I add a circle collider to D, set it as a trigger and edit it so it outlines player's head. Also, I can add another one collider, which will cover player's body. These colliders will work as one. There we go. Player also needs a rigid body to the component to detect collisions and to be able to move. I add one. I set gravity scale to zero, so player will not fall down. Player will be controlled with the script. Here it is. Here I have rigid body direction x, direction y, and move speed variables, which will help me to move the player. Coin counter variable will give me access to UI coin counter object. Serialize field attribute allows me to assign this variable in inspector. Collided coin value variable will hold the value of coin with which player collides at the moment. And money amount variable will hold total amount of money earned. In start method, I get control over rigid body component, set move speed to 5, and set money amount to 0 initially. In update method, direction x and direction y variables take value from negative 1 to positive 1 multiplied by move speed depending on which arrow button is pressed. Also, here in update method, money amount is displayed by coin counter UI element. In fixed update method, rigid body gets a velocity according to direction x and direction y variables and player moves up, down, left or right. On trigger enter to the method is invoked when player collides with a coin. When it happens, I get a value of a coin player collides now. And after that, money amount is increased by that value. When it's done, coin is destroyed. That's the script. Drag and drop the script to player. Select player and drag and drop coin counter UI text into corresponding slot of player script component. Here we go. Everything is done. Now I can hit play and see how it works. Player can move if I press arrow keys and he can collect coins, earning some money for living. Hope you liked this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you next time.